back to the program. I am once again your host, Joe. Today we're going to continue with more Final Fantasy IV. When last we left off, uh, we found Sid in the castle, just perfectly fine. He jumped out of the airship with a bomb strapped to him, and he managed to just shrug it off, I guess. Ridiculous old man. Uh, and he was able to rig up our airship here so that it can actually go up uh, over the magma, which was the big issue before. And now we have the ability to cross magma and we can actually explore down here. Like, let's see what's going on in this town. Kokol Smithy. This is Master Kokol's workshop, home of the world's finest blacksmith. Okay, how would they know that? Like, the underground has been sealed off from the above-ground world for, like, generations. Beyond memory, even. He's not even a dwarf! My smithing days are over. I won't forge another sword until I find legendary ore adamantite. Well, I don't have that, but maybe I can give him a bomb ring. Found Soma Drop? What? Increases magic, maximum magic points by 10. Well, I'm gonna, gonna give that to Rosa. Wait, Lamia's harp? Is literally a harp. For Edgar. Or not Edgar, Edward. That's the wrong prince I'm thinking of. Okay, well I thought that would be a town and that I'd be able to do something there. Seems to not be the case. Um, there's the crater from where Sid landed. Jesus Christ. Now if I wanted to... Oh, you know what I gotta do? I have bad news to bring people. No, no. Am I ammo? Airship, go up. I know it's supposed to... There is a way I'm supposed to be able to go up. I'm not supposed to be stuck down here. Fine. But yeah, this is this is the underground. I can fly around. I can look at my own at my heart's content. There's a cave there. I'm sure that's not suspicious at all. Uh, let's see. There's a little bit of land there. Land there. Okay, so like it doesn't the, the map doesn't show you like the actual walls. That's, I believe, where we're supposed to go. Oh, here is a town. I knew there was a town down here somewhere. Oh, I must have... Right, I hit the shoulder button while I was in the airship, trying to figure out how to go back up the hole. You have nothing I want. Uh, I should buy more of these. Oh, he sells high potions. Buy 19 of those, just to be safe. Alright. Finally, a shop that sells high potions. I hear the seas of the overworld are blue. How disturbing. Mercy me, where'd you come from? Uh, up. I came from up. Did you know there's an island to the northwest, at least to the land of summons? Scary, huh? Lally ho. Oh, here we say howdy ho. Okay, so this is where I spend all of my money. I 
I equip my soldiers with armor literally made out of diamonds. Why are these two shops even connected? Armlet that is resistant to lightning. You know what? No. The Ruin Armlet is still fantastic. Bloodlance, you suck. What did he have? How do I have, like, three of these? Jesus! Okay, let's sell some of this shit. Uh... Okay. Just concerned for a second, because I know that this stupid game has straight up just unequipped uh, Rosa of her bow in the past and I'm like Ugh. keep the s keep the elemental shit just because you never know um, Yang is probably dead so I'm gonna keep those uh, whip who's wearing a green Barret Barret green beret Okay, well, I don't need Lamia's harp. Uh, I don't need those. Mithril hammer, blood sword. I hate you. Blood lance. I'm not too fond of you either. Mithril shield. No. Yeah. Exit out of that entirely. Uh, great bow. I don't need you. I've got the killer bow. It's cool. It's got killer in the name. Clearly, it's good. Feathered cap. Jesus. So much old crap. Clothes? I just haven't sold anything in ages, have I? That's probably fine. I don't know why I'm keeping all that other shit. Just, you never know. You might need it. It might come in handy. And, uh, let's see. Chain Whip. Okay. Wait a minute. No. Like, I know that the whip is, like... Uh, 32, okay, the sure is better. Kunai, get out of here. Who's using what here? Is there, like... Why? 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 Can I... Okay, there's a secret passage. That's good. That's good. No armor for Edge here, though. There really is an overworld. I thought the rocks just went up forever. Oh, treasury. Take our stuff, it's free. <laughs> just imagine he's just being very sarcastic. How bestiary. You sure came a long way. Take everything. Just rob us. These guys don't even have the authority. They're just, like, just 
trying to frame me for robbing the town. Ridiculous. In the last episode, I found out one of my cats wanted to get out of the room. And now I discover the second cat has been in my room and also wants out. I'll be right back. I somehow tied myself up in cords too. to let the second cat out the first cat wanted back in and I'm just like no I want you both out oh you know what no I can't go back up to the surface because the the cave in Sid blew it up with his stupid bomb all right well into the sealed cavern we go the way to the Jewel of Darkness opens only for those able to show proof of the Rite of Passage. Here's a necklace worn by Luca. Lightning Strike, off it goes. Oh, right, the tightrope walk. Miss Vamp? One of these ridiculous vampire ladies. I just love that she's just named Miss Vamp. Um, am I gonna regret this decision? Yeah. Just a little bit I am, yeah. My brain always goes lightning on a thing that's flying. Should do some decent damage as the electricity just passes clean through it into the ground. But no! It, it, it fucks me up every time. Stupid bats. Alright, let's try fire then. Ugh, blood feast. This is so annoying. And if fire doesn't work, we'll try ice. And if neither of those work, then Kane's gonna go airborne. Okay, you know what? That fire did work. Fair enough. Please stop drinking my blood. I'm only getting it in small quantities. Well, yeah, as long as that doesn't heal them. Well, that makes sense. Oh, Rosa learned the fourth uh, cure spell. That's uh, the best one. back out of the menu. Just crawl across that rope. Are those supposed to be like ropes going up and down? Okay, what is that? That's the second one of those I picked up. Okay, it's just a book that you read through to figure out what a monster is. Yeah, so we will deploy our new Pokemon logic. Didn't mean to do that. Edge is going to do something stupid. Aren't you, Edge? I 
I mean, he's clearly casting a spell. Watch it be Blitz. No, it's Flame. Okay. I misjudged the little guy. Still not quite what I would have hoped for. Why does Blizzard do so little damage? Or was that, uh... That wouldn't have been the lowest level one. That looked at least mid-tier. Okay, he's dead. Kane drops down and she's dead. Edge, you don't have a whole lot of magic for this sort of thing. Unlike Rydia, it does not have the ability. The door is transformed into a monster. Jesus fuck. Throw a fucking sword at it. Uh, summon, summon Titan. 1338, so close to cool. I will say, Edge is at least doing some decent damage now with his swords. I think. I can't even compare with Cecil, because Cecil didn't get an attack off. Alright, what's in here? Boxes! Kotetsu, which definitely sounds like a sword for Edge. And Aether, which is not. Short Katana, Forge for Ease, uh, ease of Use. Alright, so now, uh, I guess Samurai is a... Or Ninja is a Dwarven thing? Maybe? Now, these guys are getting their Blood Feast off regardless, so clearly it's not a, you know, reaction attack that they have. the mid-tier fire spell. See if that does better than ice did. I'm like using Pokemon logic here. Ice should, in theory, you know, you have, you have ice up an airplane's wings and it can't fly, right? Finish it off, Edge. Use your crappy little two-sword attack. Yeah, why do the dwarves have ninja weapons? Door is transformed into a monster. Yeah, yeah. Trap door. Search. Um, hold that door for me, please. Didn't work. No, it's worth a shot. Edge! Just knock! Ninth Dimension? Alright! <laughs> okay! That's something, all right. Um, Osmos the door, Rydia. You're not gonna get a chance. All right, well, let's see what's in here, at least. A high potion. An ether. Three more doors. These ones appear to be monsters as well. Which is just fantastic. And here comes the Blood Feast! I don't think I'd mind this if it wasn't the fact 
for the fact that, like, all of them get to do it, and the animation takes a while. Which is kind of annoying. Alright, Edge. Cecil, finish off whoever's left, if anybody's left. Wow! Both a bat and Miss Vamp are left. Didn't expect that at all. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Just the one person. This door is a monster. Of course it is. God, they're gonna fucking do it. This door is gonna do the thing again. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know what Rose is gonna do. But I accidentally hit the auto-fight button. Okay, stealing magic points from a door doesn't work too well. This is why I bought ample Phoenix Downs. <laughs> did... <laughs> oh, get in the comments. Did y'all ever have a friend back in the day who tried to convince you for some reason that it's actually a Phoenix Down? It was like in Final Fantasy VI. It was inexplicably spelled with an F. Like, I know why they spelled it with an F. They spelled it with an F because it, they were, like, low on space. Kuraga does honesty, like... Yeah, Kuraga is healing enough that I don't... foresee a situation anytime soon where I'm gonna need, uh, you know, the fourth one that's better. I don't know what it's even called. What is it, like, Kurajra or something? Oh no! Ready to get down! Kill that door fast, please! I do not need another trip to the ninth dimension. Edgar learned smoke. It's the new hip spell f uh, for teens. <laughs> why? Empty rooms, why? Why empty rooms? Okay, that just takes me to the next floor. Let me run around here and make sure that there's not anything I'm leaving behind over here. Evil bat. Okay, Kane will jump the one in the back. Edge will target the one on the bottom. Video will use Osmos on the one in the front. And, uh, yeah. This should wrap up the whole fight. Very efficient. How I love to do it. Except, Riddy didn't get a chance to steal any magic. Ridiculous. Okay. No. Map button. No, oh, yeah, there's nothing else up here. Alright. Fine. Now we just look silly for backtracking for no reason. Let's look at the room first. Okay, I'm gonna... Clearly, I'm gonna go down first. King Naga. Snake kind of looks like Iggy Pop. I've got a lust for life. And their magic points are shit. And that right there is why I gave her the armlet that protects against uh, silence. Because boy, did he ever just try it. I 
I don't need that. I can't even go that way. All right. I gotta walk around a long way. Ambushed. Oh, they're fast. They're speed walking cheetahs with a hide full of napalm. Uh, what other Iggy Pop songs can I reference? Here comes King Naga yet again. With liquor and drugs, he's a sex machine. I don't know. Uh, uh, by other game logic, I'm going to assume the lightning will do some decent damage to these guys. Maybe. Okay. Oh, there's silence. But it's on Cecil for some reason. Alright. Phoenix down? Not bad, I have been using those. Uh, I guess then I just sort of check all these doors going counterclockwise. Killing them all as we go. Silence persists through battle? Didn't expect that. Am I going to regret you trying to... Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Cecil. I don't think Rosa lives through this one. Ninth Dimension. It's a door! It's literally a door! How did you miss that? Oh my god, he sucks. Cecil, Kane, and Edge all leveled up. He was save point. I hear another empty room. Yeah, see, this is... This is... Oh my god, Edge's hit points. I mean, he is a prince. I guess he is, uh... Of the elite. Oh, you know what? I have, I have items to cure that sort of status ailment. Uh, Echo Herbs. There you go. Door is transformed into a monster. Will at least one of these have something? Can I have, like... A room? I don't want to just be doing Titan all day. She doesn't have that much magic left. And so far, nothing has been good for stealing from. Magic points, at least. That's definitely a Cecil thing. Okay. He's decked out in diamonds, now he's got a lightsaber. I remember the evil bats were not great for this, so I won't try to steal magic from them. Ooh! Yeah, the Skeleton Warriors bit I did before just got a little more accurate. And Cecil becomes a one step closer to Prince Lightstone. Okay, you know what? Rydia does not get to save her magic points, never mind. I wonder if there's, like, a type of arrow I should be using on Rosa. No, no. Mute arrows definitely are the top damage guys. Uh, and also, 
god, time is flying. That's a good place to leave off for now. Thank you for tuning in. I have once again been your host, Joe, and I will see you next time.